In the 11th century, Ibn al-Hazen set about trying to test his ideas about light and how we see. So he devised an experiment to determine how light moves. He erected a tent in full daylight and sealed it tightly so that only a single ray of light could pierce its inner darkness. With little more than his brains and a straight piece of wood, a ruler, Al Hazen had accomplished a great leap forward in the history of science. He discovered that light moves in straight lines. But he was just getting started. Al Hazen figured out that the key to forming any image, whether you're talking about an eye or camera obscura, is a small opening to restrict the light that can enter an otherwise darkened chamber. That aperture excludes the chaos of extraneous light rays that surround us. The smaller the aperture, the fewer directions that light can come from. And that makes the image sharper. So instead of being blinded by the light, we can see everything it has to show us. Al Hazen made his own camera obscura and dazzled the caliphs. A camera obscura works best in bright light. The stars of the night sky are way too dim for this. We somehow need a bigger opening to collect light, but we also need to maintain focus. A telescope collects light from any spot in its field of view, across the entire lens or mirror, an opening much larger than the camera obscura hole. This is one of the first telescopes, the one that Galileo looked through in 1609. With it, he pulled aside the heavy curtain of night and began to discover the cosmos. The lens made it possible for a telescope to have a much larger light-collecting area than our eyes have. Big buckets catch more rain than small ones. Modern telescopes have larger collecting areas, highly sensitive detectors, and they track the same object for hours at a time to accumulate as much of its light as possible. Space-based telescopes, such as the Hubble, have captured light from the most distant and ancient galaxies, giving us vastly clearer pictures of the cosmos. Al Hazen discovered how images are formed by light, but that was far from his greatest achievement. Ibn al-Hazen was the first person ever to set down the rules of science. He created an error-correcting mechanism, a systematic and relentless way to sift out misconceptions in our thinking. Finding truth is difficult, and the road to it is rough. As seekers after truth, you will be wise to withhold judgment and not simply put your trust in the writings of the ancients. You must question and critically examine those writings from every side. You must submit only to argument and experiment and not to the sayings of any person. For every human being is vulnerable to all kinds of imperfection. As seekers after truth, we must also suspect and question our own ideas as we perform our investigations to avoid falling into prejudice or careless thinking. Take this course, and truth will be revealed to you. This is the method of science, so powerful that it has carried our robotic emissaries to the edge of the solar system and beyond. It has doubled our lifespan, made the lost world to the past come alive. Science has enabled us to predict events in the distant future and to communicate with each other at the speed of light as I am with you right at this moment.